Yo, what's going on guys? Voltic Speed here and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. Yes guys, we are back and guess what? Season 4 has came out today. Yes guys, I am so excited. Are you guys ready? I am sure ready. I The last ending on episode 3 Chaos Theory was crazy. If you guys didn't go see it, I encourage you to go see the last episode I just came out with. It was just mind-blowing, but today we're going to be starting up episode 4, Dark Room. Hope you guys are ready, and here we go, boys. I'm really interested in seeing what happens. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> and that's what we say. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. God, this is so... It gives me goosebumps every single time when I see this. And there's where we left off. Here we go, boys. I'm so excited, man. I can't. Oof. Really want to know what happens. I want to know why she got paralyzed from like the neck down. We're on the beach. You guys see that crab over there? <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be a really good episode right here, boys. Really good season. I seriously don't know why the whales got washed up though. Is it because you just it time changed so fast or something? Because that's really weird. Look at that, guys. Life is Strange, Episode 4 Dark Room. Look at this, dude. It's weird hanging out with you again. 
I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Talk about the accident. Blame William. Um. I seriously don't know on this one. Uh. Why do you blame William, you I guess? You don't really blame William, do you? For getting me the hybrid I wanted for my sweet 16? No, I blame the asshole who cut me off and sent me into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. So she was paralyzed when pretty much. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is... Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Might be, you think? Don't say that. Um. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. She Night. said it all the time in the last season. Wow, things have changed so much. I, s I don't even know what to say. So we're back at her place. She has a different room and everything. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. 
But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. <laughs> and when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Sir thing, man. This is kind of messed up, dude. I mean, it's just... I really didn't think it would be like this messed up. But do we go... How do we get her drink? I seriously... Oh, do we have to go in the bathroom or something? Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Makeup. Why do you... Oh. Oh my god. Drink up, Buttercup. <laughs> oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? Your rights seems like yesterday. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends you have me? Hmm. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But... I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely? Are you okay? They love... They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max... The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe. Damn. You're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. <laughs> See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. 
This is sad, dude. So do we turn on the DVD player? So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. I'm glad you think so. DVD, DVD, DVD. Computer. Be there in here. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Nothing but medical supplies. This is, man, this is sad. It really is. Despite everything, it's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Look at that. This is the same drawer, it's a wow, different one. Sir. Chloe was a straight A student. Dang, she dude. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Wow, that's messed up. I seriously... <laughs> Where is... <laughs> they make it so hard to find DVDs and watch. It'll be like right here. Oh, fucking A. <laughs> uh, here's the DVD. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was probably my bad on my part. I didn't even see it, so that's why. Just having a good time, man. It's like we fell asleep here. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you I know you were beat down after the day with me and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night <laughs> uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant sorry I can see you're not wide awake like me no I'm sorry I crashed so hard were you okay I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Let's go do that, boys. We can go out this door. Dang, dude. This was the garage, wasn't it? It was the garage. This is the garage. Wow, I just seen that. We got two messages from Victoria. Wow, we usually don't. Okay. Okay, I'm about to read this. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Since so, I mean, silence. <laughs> silence. 
So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Why? She, damn. She's like super nice to us now. Dang. I, I'm going to call it an episode there. If you guys enjoyed this one, please hit that thumbs up button. More great videos coming soon today on Life is Strange. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Peace out, guys.